Brexit, the divorce is finally done. Three and a half years, three prime ministers, endless debates and confusion later. As the clock strikes 11.01 p.m. GMT, Britain will bid goodbye to the European Union. This will be around 4.30 a.m. Indian Standard Time. Here's what you can expect in the next 24 hours. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson will address the nation. There will be celebrations in London and other parts of Britain. Protests have also been planned. Those who voted remain will stage rallies across the UK. I think it's a very sad day. I think it's a disaster. And absolutely the wrong thing. And I think time will prove that we've taken the wrong course. In Brussels, the Union Jack will be removed from all EU offices. One of them will be placed in a museum. Leaders from across the world are also expected to issue their statements. Coins marking Brexit have already gone into circulation in the UK. They promise peace, prosperity and friendship with all nations. So what exac exactly does Brexit mean for the United Kingdom? For the UK, Brexit or British exit stands for sovereignty and economic security. Britain will have more control over its borders and its laws. The country is also hoping that the divorce will help check immigration. The country's relations with European countries will also change. 17.4 million Britons voted for this in 2016. But there were also 15.1 million others who voted to remain. Unlike England and Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland want to stay or wanted to stay. So while Boris Johnson is promising a more united country in the coming years, Brexit is only deepening the divide in the UK. Well, look, uh, today is a very sad day. Um, people in the north did not consent to Brexit. This is not something that people on the island of Ireland want, bar a small minority. So what does Brexit mean for the European Union? In the it is the first time that a country is leaving this bloc. For starters, Brexit will challenge the unity of the EU. The Union will have to bid adieu to 15% of its economy. The bloc will also lose its biggest military spender. It also loses the city of London, the world's financial capital. Citizens of other European nations will no longer have free access to the UK for travel, stay or work. But all of these will not happen immediately. That's because the UK and the EU are yet to work out Brexit details. So when Britain exits the European Union tonight, it will pretty much still be a part of it. Here's why. Britain will enter a one-year transition phase. And during this phase, it will continue to obey all EU laws. Britain will also have to pay into the EU budget till the 31st of December. But Britain will not have any representation in European Union bodies. British leaders will no longer attend any EU meetings. What it means that Britain will have to abide by all European Union rules without having any say in any of the European Union policies. So for the first 11 months of Brexit, there will not really be a honeymoon period for the United Kingdom. Boris Johnson will also have to strike several agreements with European leaders. This includes agreements on trade, law enforcement, data sharing, security, licensing, medicine regulation, access to fishing water, aviation standards, electricity and gas supply. For the world, nothing really changes tonight. Businesses will operate normally. If you're traveling to Europe in the next 11 months, the Schengen visa will be your pass to the United Kingdom too. What the world should be worried about is what happens on the 31st of December. If the European Union and the United Kingdom fail to sign necessary agreements, then there will be a hard Brexit. The two sides will obviously suffer the bruises, but the economic losses will be felt by the whole world. The story is far from over.